Hello everyone, welcome to All India Management Workshop. Uh, my name is Pranav Menon and I'm, I work as a Sports and Rec Development Officer at Sport Northeast. I'm going to deliver a Inter Management Workshop in the coming weeks. So we have divided the workshop in three parts, part one, part two and part three. So today we'll just do volunteer management part one. So starting the workshop, uh, I'll start with acknowledgement of country. Um, Sport Northeast recognizes the lands and the waters that give us life into which the stories, songs, ancestors, and dreamings of First Nations people are woven. We pay respect to Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people, past and present, for the generosity and custodianship of country. For they hold the memories, tradition, and the culture of this great land on which we meet. Just an overview about volunteer management part one. So we'll be talking about what is volunteering, why is it important in community sports? And the main question is where can you find, find volunteers for community sports? Um, the past two years have been difficult for the sporting industries and we have seen a reduction in uh, volunteers in community sports. So um, I'm pretty sure this is going to be an important question for all community sports in the coming years. A short brief about Sport Northeast uh, and what we do and who we are. So Sport, uh, Sport Northeast is one of the rise, nine regional sport assemblies in regional Victoria. Uh, we look after five LGAs, that is Wangaratta, Rudonga, Alpine, Indigo and Tawang. Um, we help community sports clubs in, in these five LGAs and help them to grow and sustain for longer. But apart from club development, we also deliver active recreational programs in the community to just to promote a um, healthy lifestyle. So we'll start with what is volunteering. Volunteer Australia defines volunteering as volunteering is time willingly given for the common good without any financial gain. So in simple terms, a person who is willing to give his efforts and time to grow an organization or a club uh, and doesn't expect any rewards in return. For example, I, when I was uh, studying sports management back in Melbourne, uh, as a student, I have worked in a lot of volunteering roles um, without expecting any rewards. rewards. Um, my main aim was to network, uh, understand the social culture, and to um, uh, develop myself professionally. So, so volunteering basically somebody could uh, could do it for self-satisfaction or professional development. Why volunteering is important to community sports? So these are some stats that are very interesting and which show states that why volunteering is so important to community sports and in an um, Australian person's life. Sports and recreation organizations attract the highest proportion of volunteers that accounts to 32%. Over 231,000 Victorians uh, that accounts to 48% of sports and recreation volunteers reported contributing 50 hours or more per year, which equates to a minimum of nearly one hour per week. 3.1 million Australians participate in non-playing roles in sport and recreation each year. Over 90% are volunteers. Volunteers help in growing clubs and contribute to social and economic value of sport and at community level. So these stats state that why volunteering in community sport is important and it's very important for community sports clubs from year on that everything is com now coming back to normal. It's very important how you recruit, how you train your volunteers and retain for longer. So even if, even if um, uh, sports sporting industry goes into um, a difficult scenario like the pandemic of uh, community sports have those volunteers retained with them and they uh, they are ready to move forward even during the pandemic. So it's very important as to how community sports club club from here on manage the volunteers. Recent issues causing volunteer decrease in community sports. As per reports, regional sport Victoria saw a decrease in volunteers from average 25% to 30% in September 2021. So there's a story behind this stat. Uh, that's because all regional sport assemblies um, have worked with regional sport Victoria throughout um, 2021. So we had conducted uh, guided conversations throughout our regions and just to understand as to what the current scenario is 
of every community sports club what are the difficulties they are facing and what are the issues that they would like to uh, tackle with so um, a detailed guided conversation and long and long chats with these clubs helped us to identify different issues uh, that the clubs are facing and one of those issues was volunteer management and a decrease in volunteers you can say um, because all clubs in regional victoria are volunteer based and when you don't have volunteers um, or there is a reduction in volunteers it's a concerning um, thing for any sports club uh, through this guided conversation there were some major issues that we had in identified as well some of them were covid uncertainty whether sports would resume or not so we, clubs didn't know as to what's happening in sport what are the restrictions for uh, some of the sports because there were some uh, sports which could still go on during the pandemic some sports were completely shut down so that uh, covid uncertainty was a big issue for clubs lack of knowledge about covid protocols and return to play guidelines extra responsibility on volunteers covid checking qr codes uh, was an extra was extra responsibility for many of the volunteers in different clubs and because the volunteers didn't have uh, any training or uh, prior knowledge about how to conduct their uh, sporting activities uh, led to a reduction in volunteers as well so lack of knowledge and extra responsibilities are also some of the major issues behind that decrease um, lack of knowledge or training of role, lack of appreciation for that approach. So apart from uh, tackling the COVID scenario and uh, not having proper knowledge about how to uh, conduct sporting activities, it's very, uh, there were issues uh, with, with volunteers that they weren't recognized for their efforts in the club. So even that causes a reduction in, in um, uh, volunteering uh, opportunities or people are not putting their hand up to take up any volunteering roles in community sports. What are the benefits of volunteering? Volunteers gain social benefits, learn, improve and understand different cultures within the community. Volunteering in sports contributes to mental and physical well-being. It helps in providing increased opportunities of sports to younger generation in the community. Volunteering in community sports helps in promoting active lifestyle, helps in developing communication, management, and professional skills. So as, a, as these points that are written on the slide, as, um, so when a volunteer, if there's a young volunteer in a community sports uh, club, uh, he's looking out or he or she is looking out for um, professional help or uh, professional uh, to develop professional skill to network understand the culture of the community so there are different types of benefits of volunteering it's not uh, it's not just about uh, giving uh, sacrificing your time or just putting your efforts it's because uh, volunteers look out for networking opportunities look out for uh, um, uh, socializing in the community and, and understanding how the community uh, works or understanding the different people uh, involved in the sporting club so there are different benefits of volunteering and, and some some of the volunteers they just uh, take up volunteering roles for self-satisfaction that they have uh, done something for the community and uh, they would like to give back to their own community so uh, there are different benefits for different individuals who take up volunteering roles. Basic volunteer rights. Uh, it's very important that community sports clubs state every information to the volunteer before uh, the individual take up the volunteer role. So that could, that is the clarification of role is very important. It states the uh, uh, responsibilities that the volunteer has to take take up when he takes up the role. Uh, number of hour plays an important role in volunteer management because it gives a better clarity to the volunteers to the amount of time the individual has to spend uh, to take to undertake those responsibilities. Reimbursement to volunteers very important because there could be instances in community sports club where um, the volunteer pays from his pro fr from his pocket, so it's very important uh, community clubs um, reimburse these expenses to volunteers. Freedom of choice, as we have spoken earlier as well, volunteer roles are not paid. They are ready to sacrifice their time and effort. So it's very important for any organization dealing with volunteers or any sporting clubs that that they have to respect the choice and feedback given to them by volunteers.
what a basic volunteer responsibility. Um, when an individual is allowed to volunteer in a sporting club, it is because the committee members from the club show trust in that individual. So it's very important that the volunteers are committed to the role, they are punctual and they are reliable. Deal with complaints in appropriate manner. Um, every community sports club has different policies and procedures. Um, the vol volunteers have to make sure that these policies and procedures are followed in an appropriate manner. I respect the rights and privacy of others. Um, since all community sports club is volunteer based uh, and many of the community uh, sporting clubs are uh, culturally diverse as well. So volunteers have to take this into, into consideration and respect the rights and privacy of every person in, involved in the club. Give prior, prior notice while leaving the organization. Since the pandemic, it has become much more difficult for community sports club to recruit um, volunteers. So it's very important for the current volunteers to give ample up. If they want to move away from the role, they give ample amount of time to community sports club to recruit and train volunteers for their roles. So it's very important that uh, they are given prior notice to the organization. Where can you find volunteers? Family, friends and club members. This is the common approach that every community sports club till date takes it and it, it is because it's easily approachable and accessible for the clubs. Uh, but here we are giving you two other options where um, community sports club can look out for volunteers. So the second one is the volunteer center program of the center. So it, this is a department which sits within our organization. Uh, it helps uh, non-profit organizations to uh, recruit volunteers uh, in their organization. So it's a very useful uh, source for community sports clubs. I will be talking about it much more in uh, later slides. External volunteer website, there are heaps of volunteer websites um, on Google. If uh, you just have to the create profile and keep updating it with uh, any volunteer roles that club would like to fill with. What is the volunteer center? It's a department within the center which provides support for volunteer management and volunteer organization. So TVC is a department within the center and it helps uh, different nonprofit organizations to um, uh, recruit volunteers for uh, different organizations. And it also provides free matching service of volunteers. And, and the main thing is that it covers whole of your region. So when you register to TVC, the community sporting club um, is now exposed to whole of your region. So the, um, the chances of recruiting people just broadens up. So not just family, friends and club members. Now you are exposed to a whole of your region. So TVC is a very useful resource um, for community sports clubs in our region. These are some of the external volunteer websites which can be used by a community sports club as well. So how it works is that you create a profile and then keep updating um, your profile with uh, with any volunteer roles that the club would like to fill. So this, these are some of the volunteer website which are go volunteer, seek volunteer, good company, be collective, community and poly. So these are some of the external websites that uh, community sports club can look into. Bits of the volunteer center. So once an organization registers itself with the TVC, this is what the benefits are uh, during the journey. So TVC helps an organization to build effective volunteer practices. So that means that it helps uh, organizations to build volunteer management policies and procedures which could help them with retention, training and retain um, recruitment of volunteers. Um, increased diversity of volunteers. Uh, because TVC looks after the whole of human region, they receive applications from different people of diverse culture. So when an organization recruits a volunteer through TVC, they are actually building a volunteer base within the organization, which will have di uh, volunteers with diverse culture. It's a good, uh, good uh, option to uh, explore and um, community clubs in Northeast Victoria can surely look into this option. Improve access to information on volunteering. 
training resources and support for volunteer managers and volunteer organizations. Because TVC is in uh, contact with Volunteer Victoria and many other volunteer management organizations, um, they have a lot of training resources and additional information about volunteer management. So once you have registered with uh, TVC, you get access to these these uh, training resources and information it, because it helps uh, organizations to tackle issues with uh, recruitment, training, uh, retention, or if an organization is looking to uh, build a whole new volunteer management policies and procedure. New volunteer role process. So this is the diagram of an organization journey with TVC. Uh, so you, uh, it shows that what um, once an organization registers with TVC, it has uh, it has a different responsibilities and how TVC helps uh, the organization to recruit a volunteer. So if community clubs are looking into this option, uh, registration with TVC is mandatory. So there are three ways how you can register with TVC. It's either online via phone call, or if you would like to have a chat with one of the staffs, staff from TVC, you could uh, come down to 17 Chisholm Street, Vangarata. So we come to an end of part one, and um, this is just an overview of what's going to happen in part two. So we will be talking about recruitment of volunteers, uh, how we can train the volunteers and how and ultimately how we retain them for longer. Thank you for watching this workshop. Hope you have enjoyed part one of volunteer management. And if you have any questions regarding the workshop, just give me a call on the below details. And um, if you have any other questions with regards to club development, grants, membership, participation, anything, uh, you could just email us at sportnortheast at the center.wit.edu.au. Thank you.